Hello everyone and welcome to our Showcase Sunday. So today we're going to talk about the Oven and Grill Cleaner and I brought a few other products along just to kind of show you guys some other options that you have to use in your oven um, but definitely Oven and Grill Cleaner is the way to go. So for those of you who may not yet really know who I am, um, my name is Tanya Merritt and I'm going to get going on showing you guys a little bit about the Oven and Grill Cleaner. So First of all, I know that it looks like, oh my gosh, I don't really get a lot for $31, right? But here's the thing. This bottle will last you for so long. It is an enzyme-based product, so once opened, it's good for two years, and I would almost bet money that you'll have it the entire two years. Um, unless you're cleaning your oven every day, you should have it a long time. It works very, very well, and the great thing is too, you're not putting a bunch of toxic, harmful chemical chemicals in your oven where you're putting food for your family to eat. This is a much safer alternative to be using as when you're using an oven cleaner, you guys can see poisonous, dangerous, toxic. Oven cleaner by Norwex actually is made with enzyme products. So the enzymes, the way they work, will uh, eat and eat and eat and eat the grease, the leftover food bits, burnt on stuff, and start to dissolve them um, right before your eyes basically and it works by heating the oven or the grill if you're doing your barbecue. So one thing I am going to mention is please, please, please make sure you follow the directions of use. You do need to heat your oven or grill um, to about 100 degrees. If you do not heat the oven, it is not going to work because for this particular enzyme product, it needs the heat in order for the enzymes to become live and active and eat up the grease and food and all the yucky that's in there, okay? So make sure you heat your oven. Also, you're going to turn your oven, and all these directions are right here for you, but I'm just, as a reminder, you're going to also turn your oven off once it's at about 100 degrees, okay? So make sure you heat your oven. Also, you're going to turn your oven, and all these directions are right here for you, but I'm just, as a reminder, you're going to also turn your oven off once it's at about 100 degrees. Up, I open the oven back up, and I take either a spearnet. This one is very loved, as you can see, um, but honestly, you can just kind of scrunch it back into a ball when you're done with it. Take this and just, or with this, go like this everywhere where the oven cleaner is and everywhere that you have grease and food bits stuck on. After you've done that, take an older Enviro cloth, or if you have an older cloth, fine, but an Enviro cloth works great because of all the little fibers that will pick up everything for you. So if you have an older Enviro cloth or buy one that's designated that's just for your oven, go ahead and use that and wipe away everything that this has basically gotten off. It works incredibly well. So after you've done the inside of your oven, you're going to then heat your oven again to just a bit hotter than you would have with the inside of your oven. And then you're going to open the door, turn the oven off, and spray the oven door with the oven cleaner. So that's what you need to clean your oven really well um, and it works super super great you're gonna love it for sure and then the and everyone I'm sure everyone has a dirty oven I know when I was cleaning houses that that was an often request I would get is please clean my oven so it was like an extra thing I would do but um, yeah no one likes to clean their oven but it's so easy with this you can have it done in like 10 minutes also great for your barbecue now the other thing I wanted to mention is if you have the cleaning paste, you can take the cleaning paste with a Spiri sponge um, or a Mighty Mesh pot scrubber or a Spiri sponge, uh, Spiri net, sorry, and you can do the inside of your oven window with that or the inside of your oven as well. The only thing is it does take a lot more elbow grease and a lot more time because it's not its intended purpose, but it does work alongside your oven and grill cleaner or if you just have a spot here and there that you want to um, get so you can use your cleaning paste in there probably best with the spiri sponge and this is great for your glass and ceramic stove tops too okay
this. So that's a great combination for that. And lastly, I want to touch base quickly on our new degreaser. Oh, sorry, one more thing. Do not dilute the oven and grill cleaner. It is highly concentrated, but it does need its full potency to work well in the oven because the water actually resists how it's supposed to work, okay? So don't mix with water. The degreaser, however, you can actually, this nozzle doesn't go with it. It's not supposed to have a nozzle. I stuck an old one in here. You take this, um, you take the degreaser, and you're going to mix one part degreaser with seven parts water. And that's going to go and make an amazing degreaser for you. You can use it like on your stove, inside your oven, on old cookie sheets or whatever it may be, um, your hood vent, like whatever you want to use it on. It's great for so many uh, places that you need to like get the grease out. For sure, oven and grill cleaner is your go-to for your oven. However, a couple other of these items you can get away with using when maybe you don't have the worst oven in the world, but just kind of need to touch it up. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great day. Happy oven cleaning.